Alright, you're here with me, Damien. Just a short video on a bit more detail of getting what's on a laptop to be on what's on a very old television. This one's a national television. It's a transistor television, but it's a tube television all the same. Probably from about the 1970s, I'd say. Quickly below it is the uh, Chrysler 121, cabinet style A2A. The A designates that it's on these little pig trotter feet down here. That's a fairly unusual cabinet style, so I'll be getting that one fixed. At the moment it's terminal, probably power transformer or something like that, I believe. Um, fairly good nick inside and out. It's, uh, I won't bother opening it up, but... Yeah, so basically, this whole system here will work on this television as well, because everything is coming down into this... Um, yeah, what do they call it again? It's basically... Yeah, antenna jack, but uh, it's got a funny name, I can't remember what it is. Anyway, we've got the ballon on the back here as well with these farm stock connectors. Um, pretty old-fashioned way to connect the farm stock. They were for the 300 ohm ribbon cable that you used to find in houses. But uh, yeah, most of the stuff's in this uh, one now. So basically, from the television uh, on channel 0, so you've got the old 5A and channel 11. Uh, down to this RF modulator, which was off eBay, about $50. They call it a household modulator. Uh, this one's a VHF and a UHF because that television, most older Australian televisions are in fact VHF. And most of the ones that you'll buy uh, from JCAR and what have you are UHF and they will not work. Because they're for channel... Oh, I think they're a higher channel. Anyway, um, the only gotcha with this one is the fact that it's got an F-type uh, screw-in connector there, so I had to go to JCAR and buy uh, the F-type to the regular antenna. Um, so basically the sound comes directly here from the computer through a 3.5 uh, stereo jet up here, 3.5 mil to the uh, yellow and white, red and white RCA rather. Uh, the video signal makes its own way on the yellow cable across here to this also USB little cheap and nasty uh, VGA the composite video adapter uh, it is powered by USB which is the worst part about this whole thing because that uh, power jack there doesn't seem to fit in properly sort of just sits out at the side and the slightest touch and basically the signal drops out for a half a second and comes back on I don't know I'll try and maybe hardwire it in at some point because it's just a bloody nuisance and you can't power it on anything else except for the computer, it has to be in the computer you can't put it in like a mobile phone brick or anything like that to power it up unfortunately and then the VGA cable just up to the laptop and I have it on uh, duplicate screen can't see it. because uh, basically it's just easy to see what you're doing but it picks up as a 4x3 monitor there's a couple of customization options on here I might just see if I gingerly press the menu button while holding it down because few options there, that flickering's just from the video but uh, yeah if I was to move my hand out and probably drop out it's really that delicate so might have to f try and find something I think that was about five dollars off eBay or something like that but apart from that it works beautifully so I mean all it's doing is stripping out the composite video signal off that VGA I think there is analog signal in there somewhere for television but um, yeah it seems to work alright um, hopefully once this one's all fixed up it'll look it'll work well on that one because there's plenty of room inside that console down on the speaker there to pop all this crap in there doesn't take up too much room so yeah I mean it works pretty well, the sound comes through clearly and stuff I'll give it, this is on channel uh, 7 I do See the flickering there is uh, a bit exaggerated. No colour. Channel 7 says hello from the mid 80s, probably that one. So, yeah, anyway, look forward to getting this uh, the Chrysler up and working because it is a pretty nice looking television and it will be nice to see it going again. The wood's in pretty good shape, polish is alright. Bit of crazing on the polish, but yeah, it will. Uh, good to see that one running again. We got 5A on there, yeah. 
that 1964 this television set, so 5A and Channel 11 were well and truly in by then. And, uh, yeah. Um, brought it up on a Variac and there's no life there, so yeah, we'll see what we can do. Anyway, that's, um, that's how it's done, the magic.